Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get clean portrait photo editing and color grading in Photoshop. This tutorial will be beginner friendly, so watch to the end to see how we got this clean portrait editing and color grading in Photoshop. With no further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing we are going to do, we are going to clean the skin. And to do that, we are simply going to use the AutoFace FS action. So click on the AutoFace FS action. And voila, this is the result we get. See the before and the after. Look at the skin, the before, the after. The AutoFace FS action simply goes into your skin and smooths the skin while retaining the skin texture. You see the before, you see the after. It smooths both the face and the entire skin. So you can see the result for yourself. Here was the before and here is the after. After cleaning the skin, we now go to create a channel, mixer, adjustment layer. And then we go to the green, go to the output channel of the green. And now reduce the green to zero and increase the blue to 100. After doing that, you are now going to come and create a hue saturation adjustment. Click on the hand picker, target the skin. And now you move the hue to 27, increase the saturation, reduce the saturation to 30. Okay, also take back the hue around 20. You can see the before and the after. Before and the after. And I'm going to create a selective color adjustment. Come to the reds and you boost the reds. By reducing the sign in the red, and now uh, you move the magenta to minus seven to make the skin tone look more orange. Come to the yellow and remove yellow from the yellows to make the skin tone look more calm and beautiful. Because see, if you increase the yellow, this eye looks. If you reduce the yellow, this eye looks. So you reduce the yellow, and I'm going to group these three adjustments. If you click on the first one, hold shift and click on the last uh, adjustment you want to select to select all of them at once. Then drag it to this folder icon down here to create a group. Now we are going to create a layer max on the group by clicking on this icon, layer max icon right here to create a layer max. We are now going to invert the layer max. So if you click on the properties, and the layer mask, you are going to see this option, you are going to invert the layer max. We are now going to take our brush, make sure the foreground is white, and then paint on the skin. Use your bracket, open and close key to adjust the size of the brush. Make sure your flow is high, then you paint on the skin like this. To reveal the adjustment we've made, only on the skin. Now you can use the S key on your keyboard to invert this foreground color to either white or black. Black is hiding, white is revealing. So if you paint on an area you think is not good, just toggle to black and remove, toggle to white to continue to paint on the areas that you're supposed to apply the layer adjustments to. So you can see the before and the after. And I'm going to create a stamp visible layer. Control Shift Alternate E on your PC keyboard. Command Shift Option E on your Mac to create a stamp visible. Come to Filter, come to Camera Row Filter. In the Camera Row Filter, come to Edit and click on Auto. You can see what the Auto does. It's going to try to make adjustments. And you can now see it makes adjustments to the lights. I will adjust boost the contrast and you can adjust the highlights and the shadow on your own and you can see that it's now looking too colorful that's because the auto adjustment have made adjustment to the vibrance and the saturation we are going to reduce the saturation to zero and the vibrance we are going to reduce it to seven so you can see the before and the after we are just making simple changes and now we are going to come to the calibration. We are going to boost the color of the blue. 
going to boost the color of the building the calibration like this you can see by boosting the color of the blue the image is now looking way better the color of the dress is now coming out better and i'm going to click on ok to come back into photoshop i'm going to reduce opacity like this now let's take a quick look at the before and the after here was the before and here is the after i forgot we got the skin smooth like this we use the auto fix fs action link to get the auto fix fs action is in the description so you check the description to get the auto fix fs action it's just one dollar so if you like to contribute just one dollar to the channel check the link in the description to get the auto fix fs action which is a one click retouching action is going to save you a lot of time especially if you take wedding photos or you take multiple clients images that you need to retouch on time the auto fix fs action will come to your aid it's going to retouch your image super fast and give you high end results with just one click so check the description to get the auto fix fs action right now and you can see how we took this image from looking like this to looking like this it was fast it was easy and you can apply this to your own image also finally don't forget to like this video if you haven't already